Hi everybody, it's Reagan here, and I just want to share a quick message that I feel in my heart today. And it's about feeling truly satisfied and joyful and peaceful in your life, in your day-to-day -day life. Sometimes we can be so dissatisfied with being dissatisfied for so long that even if we are satisfied, we're still dissatisfied with that satisfaction. Strange paradox. So how does one be satisfied with being satisfied? Or even in some cases be satisfied with being dissatisfied? It's really all about the internal. And this is a lesson I just recently learned on a deeper level. It's all about the present moment and the energy that you choose to cultivate in that moment. Because not only is that going to create how you're feeling and how you're thinking in your mood, which already makes you will, which will already be fulfilling to you in of its own, and you have control over that. It might take a little practice, but you can control that. But even furthermore, that's what's going to bring you external stimuli, external content, external happenings that will truly be satisfying. Because that is what you're putting out and it's what you will receive. It's very simple. It's very simple. I know it might sound radical. But I speak these truths because it really does work and you can test them on your own. The energy that you choose to cultivate, this is why mindfulness is so important. And being mindful of what you're, what's really going on. What are you actually feeling? What are you actually thinking? If you're constantly feeling like you're struggling, and maybe you are struggling in the external world, how do you change that situation? It has to start from within. And that's the easiest, most efficient way to just go about doing it. Change your vibration now. Even if the present situation is full of strife, if you change your inner working in your inner perception now, not only will you find resolution with your external situation, but then you will find the external situation changes. And that's the kind of world we live in. I'm sure you've had experienced this before. You have to change your vibration in your energy field for the external situation to change. I know myself, I am often a very, like many people in the society, very intellect-driven person, which means my mind tells me, do, 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 and that's how I go about. But recently, it's just not been working out that way because it ends up making me more stressed, and then I don't get what I'm looking for, or even if I do, I'm not satisfied with it because I'm still so in this stress mode. So even if you are able to accomplish things by changing the external, then the internal, really what you're doing is kind of like convincing the internal that it's allowed to feel abundant because you've worked so hard. And that's okay. If that works for you, it works for you. But I'm starting to find myself, there's a much easier way to go about doing it. It's like the command line version of reality is if you change your vibration first, you don't really have to put in nearly as much effort into the external world because it will flow to your vibration. We live in a world of vibration and frequency. It really is that simple. It really does work like that. And you really can use this information. You really can make it a little bit easier on yourself and use this information and start to develop a real relationship with yourself and with the innate. All of the intelligence around you that is you, is a part of you, and it is you communicate with it it will help you so much it will help you so much when you, it's expecting you to communicate with it and you're always communicating with this with these unseen forces whether you acknowledge them or not whether you want to or not you're always communicating you're always sending out signals so why not 
even if it's just as an experiment, if you're a little skeptic, why not experiment then with consciously putting out the signals you want first, do that for just a week, and watch how it changes your external reality. Start playing with that information, and you will be amazed at where you can go and what you can build, because we are conscious creators, and it's what we do. Consciously put out and cultivate peace and joy and satisfaction, because it, really, it does start inside of you. And then it will reflect outside of you in every facet of your life, and it won't even require nearly as much pain or strife as it may have had in the past. So, I hope that resonates. Maybe it sounds bold or radical, but it's really not. It's really not. It's so simple. It's so natural. It sounds radical because the world we live in is so upside down. But it's really, really simple. And it is our birthright as human beings. And that's why I want to share it. Because this is literally how I live my life. And this is information I feel like I need to share with people. Because it's life-changing. It heals you. It transforms you. It awakens you. It helps you to remember who you are and your origins, your roots, why you're on earth, where you're going. All of these deep spiritual truths will become easily accessible to you when you really start focusing on your vibration every moment in the present moment. Are you constantly feeling, telling yourself? And and if you have a lot of self a lot of history of self-criticalness, then you will kind of have to change that momentum. So don't be discouraged by that. But if you tell yourself throughout the day, even just think to yourself, I am abundant, I am peaceful, I am healthy, I am happy. It doesn't matter what condition you're in. If you keep doing that, you will, because you are a human being and you have this ability with your willpower, with your emotional energy, with your mental energy, you will create a new reality. You have this ability. I'm trying to tell people, like, you are powerful and you are worthy. And you're free. You have the free will to do what you want. So this is something you can do. It really is. So thank you for listening, as always. I hope this resonates. I hope it gives you some food for the heart and the soul. And that's affirming in your spiritual journey and your path as a conscious creator. Much love to all of you.